yeah. It hurts, you know. I got attacked by my society. By a, uh, a general mutilation cult. But the thing is, is I know some things about things chimpanzees have done. And humans have seen humans do things. So for a person to go crazy and say it's me versus all of you, fuck all your babies, you know. Uh, <laughs> like, I have to do something. Actual real babies' bodies matter with it right now. If I were to say, and it's been a secret pain. The big secret the whole time is I was generally mutilated by a death cult that said I was going to hell. I mean, the thing cuts your piece of your dick off cold scientists have been it's so bad scientists have been lying saying babies can't feel pain i can't believe that babies can't feel pain are you serious babies they're fucking they're fucking feeling the whole thing they know the whole thing so how's that good for the baby's dick well it's not it doesn't make any sense there's a rare 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 case where it's an issue and it's not everybody. And so you go, well, what does it do on the other species? Well, it's a part of the, the foreskin protects the glands until, like, the height of sex. And it's also responsible. Like, imagine this, right? It's got neurons in it. Your brain and my emotions, the, the feelings that I feel as a being, were involved with that skin. Were involved... And people who have it, the men who are against circumcision the most, I'm just in my car at the top of a hill, <laughs> digital nomad. It's not that high production. And I'm wearing a God shirt too, right? The shirt will jinx you. It goes, if you ever disobey this, I will work for you. You know, they give you a lot of hooks. Like, the fact that there's no great flood means the Bible is a liar. It's such a great revealing piece of evidence because... The thing gets by on a lot of its extremely serious commands and regulations. The things that people have gotten up and done things about. And it does it all by saying it's the word of God. It acts like it's open and it lets you choose and it's a religion of love. But you have no choice according to this thing. You must do what it says. And God told me to tell you is such a fucking human invention. You know, I, was at, I remember being at school and one kid turns around behind me and he goes like, sees my lunch money my mom gave me and he's like hey I, someone gave me that and it's like you really think you're not smarter than me i'm glad i have art talent i have ridiculous art talent because all the people who ever disrespected me they're gonna like be like Ugh. Ugh. anyway <laughs> um yeah i've been smoking weed all morning started at like 4 a.m you know, since since I've been generally mutilated, I'm just going to go ahead and get, like, a... For the rest of my life, I'm going to get a really good, like, deep painkiller regime. Like, the way I want to start is I want to start with, like, a light... Maybe maybe some ibuprofen will help me, you know? Maybe I'll find some aspirin. But it is, like, the, the, the warning signals your body sends you due to the foreskin being missing are atrocious. It's an atrocious crime. It's an atrocious inconvenience. Like the biggest, the biggest opponents of circumcision are people who have their foreskins. They go, I love that part of me. It's been a part of me. I don't want you to take it. It's mine. And if that's the opinion of people who have their foreskins, like it's the amount of people who willingly get their foreskins removed are like, and this is even with the Bible's recommendation, but you guys have been doing it to men. People have been generally mutilating men. And here's what women do, right? Women are taught by their fathers that other men are evil other men are wicked you can't trust them that's what the bible does the bible's written by a serial killer god did not write the bible because its historical claims have found out to be folly like as an artist let me describe this i can take three blobs and make a scene out of them you know what i mean they just look like at some point when you're just adding to things as they are it just uh you just see what it is and cre keep creating so, um, yeah, I've been an alcoholic for years. Like, I was in the military, but, oh, gosh. I lost two of my roommates. Like, the front of my car, it's funny. I'm missing the front of the bumper from my car. And I'm missing a piece of my penis. And that's, like, the secret The secret to my whole personality issue is I was genitally mutilated. And I just realized this, right? I was genitally mutilated by a cult. And then I was told I was going ahead and it's my fault. Like, literally, I got attacked. No! Like, a huge attack. My mom, I, I think I remember her twisting my dick, too. Like, she put her nail into it and twist it just to be like, I have you, right? 
And so all her fake cutesiness, like she, she, since I was a baby, she was like, I'm going to, you're going to, she was making me a baby photo album. Like, I love you and all that. I want to, I've never opened that thing. Not once, not once. The moment one, one day I quit my job at Home Depot and she threw all my stuff out, including my baby photos while I lost them. I just, I just gave them away. I hope, I hope now history finds them because they could have been interesting. But, you know, the way I felt as a person is they so violated, so violated, like just like an awful time, an awful experience. Like you did what to my body? They told me what about what I should do. And my parents would always like, if there was an activity I hated, it was something that they forced me to do. It was like the more I didn't want to do it, the more they wanted to. It was like circumcision with the Bible, too, puts you in a blame-pain cult. And the problem with it is if there's no great flood, if there's no evidence of a great flood, then all that genital mutilation, all that hatred and condemnation, all that hell, all that sacrifice, all that privilege, you know, the, the author of the Bible is really flaunting it in front of your face. Now, the thing that I realized, right, is the Bible is a serial killer for sure. The author of the Bible is going to kill whoever's reading. He's going to hurt him and her and their family, for sure. The author of the Bible is that wicked. And the reason why it hides a lot of it is, like, what I noticed was, like, looking at, like, how venomous species work, like predators, they have numbing agents, right? When one you some of these invasive funguses, they take over a part of your brain that makes you feel at peace. The reason this is a problem is humans don't work this way. It is easier to feed everyone and get everything we need to get done if everyone works together and everyone does a little bit all of the time. Then we'll have then we usually have everything we've ever needed done done and there's a surplus, right? Humans are that way. Um but yeah, controlling someone's sexual expression and violating their body like that, unforgivable. But the thing is, is that the Bible, and especially the way that the priesthood talks you into it, is that these are people with a knife. These are people who want it because humans are about their egos, right? The whole Bible is about ego. It's about uh, what a good person is actually like. And the Bible gives a lot of authority to say, I know it, we all know it, that person exists and he's right here now and this is what he told us to say. And the thing is, is that the fact there's no evidence for a great flood, and there really isn't, people have actually, their, their whole lives have changed when they went to go look for it. They were like, what? It doesn't exist. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, it's pretty shocking. And so that means that the whole book is just not true. And so millions upon millions upon millions of men have been and will be circumcised because of these religions. Like, I just found a calling. Like, I'm, I'm going to get some sort of sign. I need to make a really big one. I need to make one that like says everything I wanted to say and that I can use as like a prop for a show while I'm shouting, you know. And I'm going to take it to LA and I'm going to give it my best like I I'm a public speaker by trade. I learned communications. I was a I was a briefer in the army. I took it hard when some of my men didn't come back. Like it's hard you're like I want to tell you where all the safe spots are and I was wrong. And people died. You know, and I'm not psychic, but now that I know more about, like, how ma energy and manifestation works, it's like, yeah, I lost two roommates. Not because of me. Like, one guy had, like, a rollover. He got thrown from his vehicle. And, uh, ugh, God, I'm so sorry for some people. Like, hey, 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 hey. There were so many casualties. There were so many casualties in the fucking thing I saw. It was just sad. And it was all because we didn't, like, frame the discourse, and we made it a fight, so you know what I mean. But anyway, um, I've cared about the world, and maybe, yeah, I wasn't... Yeah, I, I'm proud of what I've done, you know, I never, I've never hurt anybody directly. I used to tell people that the thing was a mistake, and we should go home, you know, I was like, this place is not right. I was that way. They'll stand in history that I was, an, uh, I was, even while I was there, I was an outright opponent of being there. I was like, this is dumb and stupid, we shouldn't be here, we shouldn't be hurting people, you know, and no one, no one I knew did, and I... I you know, I was like, gotta, we used to have a really strict rules of engagement. You had to be, even if someone pointed their weapon at you, you, they, you couldn't return fire. You had to wait till they tried to hurt somebody, and then you could only stop them. And that was it. So it was like a little bit of a superhero complex. But anyway, years ago, years ago. And the reason I didn't live the life I wanted, the reason I never had any of the love I wanted, the reason, the reason my life has been, because here's the thing. The Bible says no one will like you. It says everyone will hate you. The Bible is a huge crime. The Bible is a huge crime. It says uh, you can't trust anybody. 
And the problem is, is that even in my mind, because I grew up in this cult, right? I was genitally mutilated. I'm, I'm sure the person who did it to me told me, because you're going to hell. Because the Bible gives its prospects for who's going to be divided up when the judgment comes, and it's everybody's going to hell. Absolutely nobody's making it through that. And uh, it sounds it sounds clinical, but that's really a cycle. Because my dad's, I think my dad's a serial killer. I think I've told people before, and nothing's happened. But I think my dad admitted to me once he was a serial killer as a kid. But it could have been because he was getting jealous of the lust other serial killers were getting. Like women who hate people love serial killers. They're like you mean you go out there and just show them what? Oh, jeez, it is. It's kind of cool. But for me, like you know, I've gotten a paper cut before. Sucks. Sucks. Uh, and so I wouldn't do anything to anybody else in case there's karma, but I also don't believe in karma. This is the reason I made the video. I don't believe in karma because Earth's history hasn't been going on long enough for it. Reincarnation might exist as some sort of, like, deities, like, what if there was a temporal continuity? But I just, it's like... In, even the reincarnation predictions, those religions, they do not have a differentiation in species. And so the thing they all give up is that the people who say they spend their time talking to God when you're not looking at them, don't. They don't. It doesn't happen. <laughs> they're, they're busy worried about other things. But anyway, this channel is a, you know, what I'm going to do is I'm going to link it eventually in a TikTok and publicize it. I've had uh, about 10,000 views of my message, you know, and general mutilation of children. I've had many thousands of likes. And uh, there's been a little conversation, but only six followers, only six people are willing to hear from it again. So I really need to go out there and spread the word because it is, it is an active situation right now that millions of men, millions upon millions of men, who you don't know why, they sit on their own, they're always impossible to get to know, you know, and what had happened is they've been genitally mutilated, and then they were told nobody would like them, don't even try. That's what the Bible says. The Bible says, live no life at all ever, this place is bad, it's hateful, it sucks. You know, it's basically, earn me some money, don't talk to anybody, <laughs> and uh, don't you think about touching any of my women. That's what it is, that's the whole Bible, and it's like, uh, the Bible never says it that way, but it's such obviously the values of a human. Because, I mean, I've been there. I've been there, really, like, high school, right? I, I love a girl. I want to shape my whole life around a girl. So does somebody else, right? It just he, that, that whole situation, it makes you angry enough. You wish you could just change it with some force. Well, that's all the Bible is, some human running with it. Because if the Great Flood isn't real, and I don't think it is, I don't think there's any evidence the Great Flood exists, um... Yeah, but I've been alone my whole life, you know, I've played every video game, I've connected to a lot of people through that, and I've sat in all my classes, you know, I have the years and years and years of schooling behind me, but I still consider those, like, control cults, because you're not allowed to, like, hang out. If I want to sit, like, three to a pile, like, no touching, I know all my teachers as a kid forbade touching, right? So, they hurt a piece of your penis, and then they say that you're not allowed to touch anybody ever. <laughs> And then they teach disease theory, which as I teach is that uh, even during the Black Plague, you know, a third of the people never had anything happen to them. They were totally fine. So it's a bit of a mystery, but I've had weird things happen. You know, I still believe that there's might be a special energy to the universe, right? But yeah, if I, if I go to heaven, oh God, if there is a real heaven, I just wish to have a normal feeling penis. I really, I really was out here. I was like, ah! my whole life I would have just wanted a normal feeling penis because the glands has a specific skin for having a cover and uh, to change it and to cut off like they go oh you only feel it for a month no you don't babies cry for 24 hours they feel it way after that it's a totally inappropriate procedure right you're talking about a optional 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 body modifying procedure the genitalia done to a baby the only good reference for it is a book that's been disproven. The only good reference for it is a book that's been disproven. And so the situation I'm finding with, like, shock. Like, I was out here, I literally thought it. I thought it. I knew I thought it. And I remembered it. And, uh, yeah, I'm just, it's a good view. But, uh, well, yeah, it was that. Every day, millions of more babies are being mutilated, so I put more money down, you know, and I'm going to get a sign, I'm going to go out there. It's too little too late for tons of people. Millions and millions of men just, they basically never had 